South Africa's Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti, has dispelled fears that the cancellation of the Zimbabwe exemption permit last year is an attempt by his government to chase Zimbabweans out of South Africa. At the announcement that the Zimbabwe exemption permit would not be renewed, many were sent into panic mode, fearing that the more than 178,000 Zimbabweans who live and work on the permit in South Africa would find themselves with no way to go. However, in an interview with a South African radio station recently, Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti welcomed a change of heart by many Zimbabweans who he said after taking a slow uh, pace are now applying for the waivers and permits. But what we have realized is that the people who are now applying for what we have asked them to apply for have picked up uh, quite dramatically because I, I suspect people were, were given wrong information, which, which the media has been giving even under, after our correction. They say we are expelling Zimbabweans in, out of South Africa. And there is no document or no sentence ever uttered that we are doing so. All we said is that we can no longer keep them on a temporary documentation forever, temporary, something that was issued right from the beginning say this is temporary measure until certain things happen. But you become temporary for life. We just said, no, this can't be. We are asking them to migrate and apply for other uh, 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 documentation that allow them to sojourn. Mm -hmm. And there are 17 types of permits and visas in South Africa. Mm -hmm. We say go for one of those. People translate, oh, we no longer want them, we're going to fire them and all that. That's not what we are doing. And, and, and because there was a court case, I think some were told that, look, this minister is mad. Don't apply. The court is going to throw this thing out. But some are realizing that what if, because as I'm sitting here, you never know what the court of law will say. Even lawyers don't know. If you put 100 lawyers here, they are going to give you as different as 100 opinions about what will happen after a court case. So people realize that they've got to safeguard their future by making by applying and taking advantage of what is on offer. There are those, though, who are complaining that ever since this announcement was made, they did go online, they did try, and months later, they're still waiting for a status. As online, there's, there's nothing that tells them where their application is at the moment. Are you aware of such cases? And what happens to people if they don't meet the deadline in June? Uh, you remember we extended it. Mm. It was supposed to have been in December. Look, when we took this decision, we actually wrote to these people. So it can't be true that they don't know. We wrote to them. Personally, I signed a letter to each one of these uh, uh, 178,000 people involved. We wrote them a letter because we've got their addresses, we've got their files. We also sent them, uh, 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 I mean, uh, WhatsApp messages. We also put the same letter on our website. We also sent a copy to the Zimbabwean embassy for those who might go to their embassy to ask we also met several groups who said they are representing them to clarify the matter and even put addresses and say, if you have got any inquiries, please write to this and that and that and that. So there are two processes now. Those who we are asking the, uh, to apply for waivers and those who are applying for, for, for the real permit. What do we mean by applying for a waiver? When you apply for certain permits, like work visas, scarce skill visas, there are certain requirements that are wanted from anybody. But for this particular group of Zimbabweans who are giving them a waiver, but they must apply for it. In order to say, look, when you apply for such and such a document, you need to go to the Department of Labor and obtain this document first. Uh, 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 please, waiver that. Give me a right of waiver so that I don't have to go to the Department of Labor because I'm already here. Mm. And we're issuing those waivers. I'm signing them every day and say, yes, you are already here. You can apply for that visa. You don't have to follow those steps. We are giving you a waiver. Those are the ones that are signed by me. Then from there, after getting the waiver, they apply without the requisite document. What more can a human being do? This will come as welcome news to many Zimbabweans who have been fearing that come June 30, they would have to pick and leave South Africa. Mkodisi Nube, AVG News, Johannesburg.